Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, October 23rd, and you're here at the Chaos, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Working Group. We have a small group today, but that's okay. Small but mighty. I'm going to share. Whoops, that's not the right one. Let me find it. <clears throat> Close, sorry. <clears throat> sometimes I'm prepared, sometimes I'm not. Today is a not. Yeah, I was say, what is today? <laughs> there we go. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to drop this link in. We're going to talk about this for a minute as well on the agenda, but we have a new location for our, our meeting minutes. So, um, the new ones are going to be here. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> goodness. If you would like to put your name in our new agenda and tell us how your week is going, that would be great. Um, you don't have to though, if you don't want to. We, um, so first thing on the agenda is to let you know that we Dave, are. Dave question. <clears throat> oh, we has a question? Yeah. No, I just was, it, I'm not as used to using Zoom, so I had to find the chat, sorry. Oh, you're good. Um, so yeah, so this is the conversation we had yesterday at the community meeting. We have put, or it, are in the process of putting all of our working group minutes into one document. Yay. So now we just have one document to keep track of uh, one place where everything will exist and it, it's pretty long, but that's okay, I think. <clears throat> so if you um, are going to any of the other meetings, you will find eventually in the next few days, you'll find the meeting minutes here, but we need to circulate that out through the community and make sure everybody kind of knows. It looks so, like the we, link doesn't change. I'm just watching you click through it. Like the link doesn't change as you click different. T oh, it is. Yeah, I think it's this. When I just opened that, it doesn't change. But yeah, okay. if you click on the different tabs, it should change the tab. Okay, because um, I was only thinking like when we drop the minutes in the <laughs> chat here, you know, mm -hmm. it could skip to the right tab too. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of my hope. There really isn't a main link. Um, when you click on t this one just does tab T0 so if we do need to just have a main link it'll just come to the community minutes okay. which I guess is fine. Yeah, that is fine. I agree. Okay. So, um, does any is anybody uh, struggling with this or um, curious about it or is there any conversation to have around this. We'll keep, you know, keep pushing it um, and forwarding people to the new but. Happy to answer any questions about that. Well, obviously we, we talked about it in the community meeting yesterday. I think everybody was real positive about it. Yeah, I, it seemed like it. There wasn't really any pushback. So I guess we'll see how it works. <laughs> there may be pushback later. People are I, like, I this just, sucks. <laughs> nah, I, this is, it's so much more organized. And I just, I think the biggest thing, and I don't think we have to do it like in one giant to do but just kind of continuing to track it down where we have links to the old minutes. Yeah. I know it's in the yeah. calendar stuff and it's probably other places. So just kind of keeping our eyes open for it. Yeah. And I put in at the old one, I put the um, thing at the top of like, these are, I saw um, that. but I, I, so when I post a video to YouTube, I do try to link to the minutes on, on that day. So those yeah. will all be out of date, but I think that's okay because those minutes still will exist. It's not like we deleted yeah. them all. Yeah, It's well, just like moving good. forward. Yeah. Yep. Agreed. <laughs> um, and then like, is it in the, I haven't looked, I could look myself, but I'm just asking out loud. Like, is it in the GitHub repos at all? Do you know, like the EI has- Oh, a that's a good question. Yeah, I don't actually know. Stuff like that. Look. That's a good question. I think it's DEI, yep. Let's see. Um, yep, it is. So mm -hmm. we will change that. Just stuff like that. Yeah, these this <laughs> this readme is pretty old. Oh, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> you can put this That's on the not... <laughs> Put this Wonder on the list knows she's, she's still a maintainer. Add it to the agenda. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's put that down here at the bottom. Uh, right probably here. should, though. Just spend a bit of time looking at that. 
I can change it too after the fact. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if anybody new joins and needs the links to the new minutes, um, somebody can drop those in there for them. Yeah. Any other questions? Oh, wait, let's see here. So that's actually um, uh, going to be in probably all the readmes. Yeah, I mean, we don't we should do like not everybody has a repo. Yeah, I'll go through. It's probably worth just checking all the WG dashes. Mm -hmm. I bet they're all out of date. I bet nobody's been updating them. No. Because we just don't really reference them ever uh -uh. that often. No, because our workflow really, for at least the metric stuff, just we don't really rely on it. Uh -uh. Okie doke. So that's a that's a task. I can go through that and just kind of work with the working group leaders to just say, hey, you need to change your email. <laughs> you need to change it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm wondering. If, if, oh, go ahead. What question is just is more of a process question. Are we switching this meeting to bi-weekly? Because I think it now conflicts with the UNSDG meeting. Yes. Okay, great. I think I missed the announcement on that. So cool. That's a good uh, just reminder for anybody who didn't know about this meeting. Yeah, it was the only one that was weekly. And just we'd gone to a bi-weekly cadence on every other working group meeting. So we're just kind of following suit with that. That actually helps a lot with scheduling. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. And it seems to be OK. We've only been doing it for a few meetings, I think, maybe two. And it mm -hmm. seems to be OK. It's not like we are, you know, have just so much else to talk about that we're missing out. So I think it's OK. Yep. <clears throat> You know, Wait, I was question? doing your oh, survey, kind of multitasking, and I don't think I realized how many working groups chaos has until I did this survey. So it's a nice little bit of education as well. <laughs> yeah, yes, there's a lot. We're constantly trying to remove them, and they just keep popping up <laughs> <laughs> like mushrooms. <laughs> yep, <laughs> like mushrooms. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's so true, though. Like they just keep it multiplying. The spores are spreading. Oh, that's great. <clears throat> well, I'm glad that you mentioned that, Ria. What a nice segue into the next agenda item. Um, just a reminder, if people have not filled this out, please, please, please do so. Even if you are brand new to the community, we really want to hear your feedback, your input. We really want to make chaos better if we can. So um, take a few minutes, fill that out. Let us know how things are going, what your opinions are, your experiences here at chaos we would greatly greatly appreciate it they are anonymous so you can be candid uh, i'm the only one that sees the the raw data um, so nobody else is seeing that we will then scrub the data and then do some data analysis on it but um, yes feel free to be as candid as you like we would really appreciate your honesty anybody and that's open till um open until october 31st so it's almost uh, it's almost over, so please fill that out sooner than later if you have a minute. It would be great. Any questions about that? Okie dokie. Um, for those who are interested or keeping track, we have released the website for ChaosCon EU, which is going to be happening in January of 2025 in conjunction with FOSDEM. It is two days before FOSDEM so that you can attend all of the things that are the day before FOSDEM. <laughs> FOSDEM has a lot of fringe events around it. So um, this is the location. This is where it is. <clears throat> we do plan to live stream the event for free, of course. So if you can't make it to Belgium, you can watch our um, YouTube channel. I think we did this last year and it worked out pretty well. So we're going to try to do it again. Yeah, I think um, the stream can... will be a little different this year just because, oh, no, wait, it'll be more streamed this year because we're going to have speakers. 
last year the streaming was a little funny because we had like uh like working sessions during the conference and we didn't want to stream all that while people just sat and talk to each other yeah that's kind of boring to watch <laughs> for sure yeah that's a good that's a good point matt um we will have a lot more talks this year um so you can register tickets are ten dollars um that does include a social event after the fact but doesn't include lunch um we are also open for sponsorships if anybody's at a company that does those things we would be super grateful to have some sponsorship money um, i will say um Google is just uh, reached out for sponsorship yesterday. It was very exciting. Yep. Thank you, Google. We love you. Thank you. And that also brings me to the next item, which is there is going to be a CFP. So if there's something on your mind you want to submit a, a talk for, that would be great. Um, I'm expecting that to be published either today or probably by Friday for sure. Um, we're just finalizing a few final details um, and then we'll we'll spread the word so keep your eyes open i didn't yank up put in the chat that she's expecting a badge application for chaos con definitely we can do that i should put that in here i can fill that out very blessing i don't in the i don't think we're doing virtual talks elizabeth correct me if i'm wrong yeah, I don't, I think we landed on no for that. And we had reasoning, but I don't remember what that was. The reason was that we had done a few in a different chaos con, maybe in Seattle, if I recall. And it, it just kind of was from a flow perspective, having like an in-person and then moving to virtual, it kind of, it was a little tough for us, if I recall. I'm also not sure. I know we can stream out. I don't know if we have a way to stream in. I don't know. I guess that way they would be recorded, but I, I don't, don't think we are. I think we decided not to this year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think so too. Any other questions about ChaosCon? ChaosCon EU. Sorry? When is ChaosCon EU? It will be January 30th. So that's oh, a Thursday. Way off. Okay. Uh, the reason I had a ulterior motive for asking in that Elizabeth, you and I had talked to NKU about doing a presentation on chaos. I am going yeah. to be in Cincinnati, November 9th through the 16th. I don't know if you've mm -hmm. been in touch with them recently mm -hmm. or if we should reinvigorate that thread and see if we can put something together for chaos in that time frame since i'll be in town yeah that would be great i haven't heard a word from them so that would be great all right let me reach out to them and i'll copy okay. you you should Perfect. also go bowling Rhea's really good at bowling i know she is i know she was on my team <laughs> 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 She's also really good at karaoke. I will just say that. All right. <laughs> Love it. I like karaoke better. <laughs> I'm better at karaoke than I'm at bowling. Yeah. She's a she's a force in so many things. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> Any other questions about Chaos Cotton? Okay. This is just an FYI. We now have some um, Japanese numbers in chaos, which is a first for, for us. So big shout out to Divya for um, reaching out to some folks in Japan and getting them on the chaos train. So we do now offer Japanese as a language on our website. So yay, that's really exciting. Um, glad to see those folks around. So I said this yesterday in the meeting, I took Japanese in college and I got an A, but the only thing I remember now is Konnichiwa. I think I can count to three, but Konnichiwa is like pretty much it. So, <laughs> so hopefully the, the um, translation is, is accurate <laughs> due to G translate. There's really, I can't check that. So we'll just have to trust that it's all right. <laughs> I mean, it looks good. It looks like there's Japanese characters. So I don't know. Um, okay, any questions about that? 
questions, comments, nothing. Okie doke. So I wanted to leave space for Edienka to give an update. If there is one, no pressure, Edienka, but just curious how that's going. Okay, no problem. Um, so can you hear me clearly? Yep. Okay. So um the last time we talked, that was two weeks ago. Um we wanted to like update the content of the event badging uh forms. And so I was able to work with um, GIFT. But unfortunately, I actually slowed the work down because of my health. So uh, what we've been able to achieve is that she was able to create a PR. But I've not been able to, I did not merge it purposely because I wanted to take um careful thought to review. I want to review it before we then merge it so that we don't break something. So that's where we are now, but they have been corrected. Is this, this is the, Arinyenka, is this the part that is just part of the application process to help with creating the issue? Because I thought that was done. Is this something else? No, 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 no. Um, You know, we talked about updating the content that um we oh, worked on oh, the yeah. updated content. That's what oh, I'm talking about. I gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to reach out to you so that you can look at it, but I, I, we've not been able to merge yet. Okay. So that's why I've not been able to reach out. I gotcha. But we'll do that before the end of the week and then okay. we'll go ahead and merge it. Well, you get your rest too. And that's probably most important. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is this can wait. Like it's okay. <laughs> we don't want you to be Thank sick you. and feeling like you need to <laughs> Thank you to very much. This. And then I had another question. I know you're sick out in Yanka, but um how is the um like badgers how has that been going on the reviews? Because I know that there have been a lot of applications. Yes. Coming. Yes, so the little challenge that I have now is um, determining the availability of our badgers. So um, I've had to private message a lot of our reviewers to remind them, and some have been unresponsive. So what I want to do now is to sort um, reviewers based on availability and to ask people that have had to reassign their task if they are still willing to review badges so that we help us determine whether we need to then actively recruit more badges. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you, how do you want to, is there a, like a workflow you want to do to try to get that information from people? Is it just like a spreadsheet? We, we have a reviewers list, um, a spreadsheet already. And okay. I've been interacting with that reviewers list. So I know a lot of people that are very responsive. I know people that okay. are taking their time. And I know people that have declared that they are unavailable. So it's just for me to sort so that I can have a clear picture of how many do we actually have on ground to work for, to work. Okay. So, yeah. And again, I'm trying to see probably um, it's because it's towards the end of the year. People have a lot of activities and all. So that might also contribute to inavailability. But then uh, I might not be able to say categorically. Um, thank you, Mary Blessing. Do you mean budging, uh, more budget reviews? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Because <laughs> um, I'm thinking, Elizabeth, too, oh. like, um, this is the badging, event badging is, oh, reaching out to folks. From oh, okay. 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 Uh, okay. Okay. I will, I such, will message you. Thank you. Elizabeth, it's like, it's such an important part of what we do. And it's like... Um such a, a visible and really actually pretty high profile um, thing that we do anymore. So if, I think if we need more badgers, like some sort of like campaign by which we can, and I know we've done things like on general and LinkedIn too, maybe I forget, but. 
Yeah, we have. And um, there is uh, in the works one, at least one more badging orientation that is more friendly to APAC. Because we okay. had a few folks in um, in that area of the world that were interested in being badgers, but the, it's the time timing. So I'm working on finding, sorting out what would be a good time for those folks and myself. Okay. Um, and then we have also someone else interested that is in, um, I think she's in Africa. So okay. um, yeah, I think, and maybe we need to do one regularly. I don't know. What do you all think about that? Like a regular badger orientation, like every month or something like that. I would leave that to Aranyanka, who may have a sense on like the the pool of badgers. Okay. Uh, we also have a few yeah. folks that um, attended the, um, sorry, Mary Blessing, one sec, um, that attended the orientation that decided not to become badgers. So I'm curious, maybe we should reach out to them and just find out maybe why, if it's seems like too much work or they're still not clear or it's just not interesting to them, which is also totally fine. So I don't know. Usually we just kind of leave those folks alone. <laughs> like, okay, if you didn't reach out, then that's cool. Um, but I don't know, maybe it's worth reaching out to see if there's something better we can do. Mary Blessing, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to speak on um, the, I think I would say, with me recently, you know, uh, um, also handling new commerce handouts from the talk guide. I think we're having a couple of people showing interest and, in, you know, contributing to chaos um, as a badging um, reviewer. Um, although the interest is not so high, but I think I think is good enough. Um, but not so not so much that we we'll want to now dedicate a time every single month to so want to have um, a orientation um, with uh, potential reviewers. So I, I don't know. I think maybe that they would, you know, give final decision on that. But I'm, I'm just speaking from, you know, uh, my experience having to be on newcomers on boarding call or maybe having one-on-one -on -one chats with um with newbies on the on the tour guide um, that we usually have. So, um, yeah. yeah, it's almost like if something is regular, it kind of uh, takes away the urgency. Yeah, so it's just like, oh, I'll just catch the next one, you know? And um, I think Mary Blessing and I do find that, I, I totally agree with you on the newcomer hangout. You know, sometimes we, we do get several folks, but sometimes it's just us, so. <laughs> So um, yeah, that's a really great point, Mary Blessing. Um, okay, well, let's see. So I'll, I will schedule the one for folks who are currently interested. Let me just put that in here. Um, scheduling something for folks who are interested. And then um, I think I can also help go through that list of folks. Um, if you need help, I'm happy to do that okay. as well. Okay. And then let's kind of sort it all out and see how many we have, we can see if we do mm -hmm. need to push more. Okay. Then I think we could also um, talk about it in the local chapters that we have. For instance, in Chaos Africa now, it's been a while we actually talked about it that we need reviewers. So we have people coming in, um, in into Chaos Africa um, at Fresh and so, um, if we can talk about it, that we are actually looking for uh, reviewers, I think um, maybe we will get more um, interest in, from, from people, so. Yeah, I think that's great. I think something yeah. else too that we have done in the past, sorry, Matt, um, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was just gonna say something else we've done in the past is, is done some um, Badger appreciation. We did a Badger appreciation event. So maybe we could do a little more of that. It's been a while since we did something like that. So um, that might be nice just to, because if we're promoting that, we're also kind of showing that this is a fun thing to do and we appreciate it and all of that stuff. So it's a good signal to folks who might be on the edge or might be on the fence if they're not sure if they want to. So um, what do you think about that, Adinka? Do you think that would be worthwhile? Yes, please. I have actually been thinking about that. Um, 
actually mentioning names um, after um, every every application that I've badged. I usually do that on, on the um, DEI repository, but then I thought bringing it down to the channel might actually um, also make um, maybe another uh, positive contribution to people just developing interest in, in, in badging. So I think that works. I think that works. Um yes. Maybe, maybe then there's, there's another thing. There's another thing I'm thinking. So there are times that um it's until I um DM people that oh um you have um a request to review. Um they just tell me, oh, I didn't know. Um, I will quickly do that now. So we have some set of people that probably they don't get notifications in their email. So um that could also be a reason why they are um, unavailable or unresponsive. So we might also look into that to how we can maybe create a reminder or something, maybe an automation that can um, alert people on Slack channel that they have they have been assigned to review a, a, an application. So. I'm pretty sure that's something we can do fairly easily. I think that there's something there is a bridge somewhere, some plugin or something, uh, maybe even in the GitHub plugin that we already have, uh, where mm -hmm. if someone is assigned an issue, it automatically sends a message to Slack. So let's look into that. Um, so I think between the two, between the GitHub notification and the Slack notification, hopefully that will cover all the events. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool. So I had a few thoughts. Maybe the Badger appreciation, we could do it as chaotic of the week and just list all the Badger that have helped over the last year. Let's take the list that Adinyeka has. Mm -hmm. Say thanks to everybody here. Um, the other is we have a lot of people who come into the newcomer channel on Slack, you know, and they're like, I'm, I would really like to participate and all that kind of stuff. Um, joining any new open source project requires, you know, learning the language, kind of learning what the artifacts are in that project. And this is such a great way to do that and just kind of learn some of it. And so maybe even when we're suggesting to be a badger, we we can time box it or like review box it by saying all we're asking is, you know, just for a couple reviews, just to help get you to understand what a metric is, how a metric might be deployed in a in a process like badging. I think of the like if I have students who join the chaos project, like a lot of the first things I have them do are just like some documentation in a project, attend meetings. It just takes a long time to kind of figure out what a project is about. I think we've all been there when you join a new open source project. It takes a long time. And so maybe this could be a, a point of entry like that. And we pitch it as what a great way. Just start here. <laughs> we don't expect you to do it forever. But it might be a nice way to start learning about some of the metrics and processes that we have in chaos. Yeah, that's a great idea. I don't know what you talk about in the Badger orientation, but that could just be an addition. Yeah, we, um, we do talk about obviously how to become a Badger and how the whole process works. And we do encourage newcomers to do it, but what we don't do is say, only one or two were like, do you want to be a badger? And so it's kind of this open ended thing of, you know, forever, I guess, <laughs> maybe that maybe that's why it's a little overwhelming, you know, or intimidating to think, oh, if I commit to this, then I'm on the hook for the rest of my life. <laughs> so, uh, so maybe that's that, a good, that's a really good point. Maybe it's like the, the separation of the why and the how it sounds like the badger meeting is kind of the how process. Mm -hmm. but more like why you would want to do this. And maybe that's the recruiting.
Okay, that's great. Yeah, that's great. I think that was it. Okay. Any other thoughts on how we can uh, make that process better or recruit more folks if needed? I have looked into um, badging on Slack. So like if someone's a badger, they could identify or we could identify them as, as a badger on Slack. But I don't think that thing exists. So if somebody can find that or if someone has seen that, um, I think that would be really cool for folks who are badgers to be, you know, um, identified and acknowledged in some way on Slack. You know what I'm talking about? Anybody? Kind of like how when we were going to discourse, you know, you can put like a, someone's profile can have badges of different groups they're in or whatever. Slack doesn't really have that. So if, the, if anybody has any ideas on how we could do that to identify folks that are badgers, I think that would be cool. Like they would have the little badger emoji next to their name? Yeah, something. Yeah. 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 Maybe we just do that. Just say if you want, you know, you're a badger, you can put your name and then a little badger badger next to your name. Oh, I didn't think about that. Is that easy? That's something easy, right? Yeah, I think what, I, what I've seen people doing is to use and design an emoji like for badgers, like this is emoji, thank you. So um, the one for badger, just like maybe written badger on it, and then people attach it to their profile name. So you see it as soon as you see their name. Okay. I mean, do you think people would want to do that? I think it would be very cool and cute and fun, but I don't know if people would want to do that. I think the badger emoji is a cute idea. Yeah, right? We use it in Slack for other things. Yeah. I mean, Inca, do we have, um, I know we have everybody's email and I think I'm pretty sure everybody's on Slack. Um, do you know if, like, if we could start a group or some kind of channel just for badgers? Do you think that that would be a good way to just kind of communicate that to everybody at once? Yes, I think it's a lovely idea and very welcome. It will even um, be easier for me to pass across information to all badgers. I actually wanted to suggest it. I wasn't just sure if it's something that you would like to have. I mean, we have the badging channel, but it's um, a little bit different, I think. Mm -hmm. That's more about badging bot and the badging process and not necessarily a way to connect directly with the badgers. Yep, exactly. Okay. I think that might be a little easier too on the GitHub push to Slack. Because I, I see it, the one, it's like, you know, trying to push a notification to Slack from GitHub. Mm -hmm. That seems a little tricky because you'd need to know somebody's Slack handle mm -hmm. to, to send them a DM. And those, that may yeah. not be the same as their GitHub handle, probably not. And so even just starting to push it to that Badger channel could be helpful. Okay, cool. So I'm going to put this as an action item for me. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And then because I know that has been a challenge in the past is communicating changes such as like when we add new metrics or when we change the process somehow. Um, that's it's been a challenge to kind of get that information out to the badgers because we didn't have emails people don't always check their github notification yeah so um this would be 
really easy to then just message the whole channel hey there's a change or whatever <clears throat> yeah that's great okay anything else on this okay um there was a f there were i should say a few time sensitive reminders of course the community survey which we mentioned earlier don't forget to do that uh this is a big one um yeah it's happening this weekend for some countries um, and November 3rd in the US. So this is a meeting, just as a reminder, is this a meeting that is tied to the US uh, central time. So it will change with daylight savings uh, for those of us who are in the US and also on daylight savings, it will not change, but for everybody else, it will. So just keep an eye on your calendars. A uh, reminder to, I've said this before, I'll say it again, <clears throat> on our calendar, it does indicate um, maybe if I can get it to load, it indicates <clears throat> which time zone we are following. So if you're not sure if something's going to change for you, um, you can, you can check the calendar. You can also make sure it's in your time zone down here. You can click whichever time zone you're in, or maybe if you're traveling a week, you can test it and see what time things are going to happen. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, some things will change. If if you do want to go to a time or a meeting that is on uh, a time zone that does not um, observe daylight savings, then just keep track of that. Like you'll you'll need to check that. So just check the calendar, TLDR. Check the calendar because it's gonna get a little wild for a couple of weeks until it settles down. I still have tickets for all things open. Five of them free. If you want to go, let me know. I'll give you one. Um, and after, even if we happen to use all those 20% discount after that, I know the, um, <laughs> the conference is next week, but we still have time. So just let me know. Here's a couple of CFPs also that you should keep track of if you are a person that would like to submit something. These are really cool conferences, both, both of them. You will not be able to attend both. So pick and choose or else take a risk and submit it to both and see what happens. Um, but yeah, I encourage you to Get your name out there if you like to do that kind of stuff. All right, what else? We have seven minutes. What else we got? Okay, sounds like nothing. Big fat nothing. So get your seven minutes back. Um, yeah, have a great day, everybody. We will see you next two weeks from now. Not next week, two weeks from now. Have a great rest of your week, everyone. Take care. See you later. Bye. Bye.